Hello, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and this is the Skyview Pro mount. I've got it fully assembled here, but I'm going to take you through the uh, assembly itself, from getting out of the box uh, in the constituent pieces, all the way through the uh, final assembled product. All right, well, let's get started. All right, so once you take it out of the box, here's the pieces you're going to have for the Skyview Pro mount. Uh, we've got the tripod, obviously, here, the head of the tripod. This is your accessory tray that goes in between the legs. Uh, on the side here, the two counterweights, counterweight shaft, the shaft that goes through the middle of the tripod to hold the uh, accessory tray. Over here, a couple of the smaller accessories, the uh, latitude adjustment bolts, both on the north and the south side, slow motion knobs, the little cap for the polar housing, and then the dovetail bar that you'll use to attach your telescope. All right, so let's uh, put this all together and see how it goes. All right, well, the first step is to uh, assemble your tripod. So that's just a simple matter of opening the legs up to as, about as far as they'll go. Make sure they're nice and widely spread and the tripod is level. And then your center support shaft, if it's not already installed uh, in the tripod, install it now. The part with the little shoulder goes up through the bottom. So I'll just thread it in there. And it's capped if it just sits there. That allows you to attach the tripod head to the mount, or to the tripod. What you're going to first do is locate the little pin on the side here. That's your north-facing pin. That goes in between these two uh, azimuth uh, slow motion control knobs. So you first want to back these out so there's a nice gap between them and the pin fits in between the bolts. All right, so that's wide enough now. It just sits on top with a pin right between the two bolts. Hold it uh, with one hand while you tighten up the center support shaft with the other. Once that's done, you can then tighten down the little azimuth uh, adjustment knobs. Next, the latitude adjustment bolts get threaded into the mount, uh, both on the north side and on the south side. They're the same length, so it really doesn't matter which one you use. Just thread them in. And then if you want to save yourself a step later, adjust the knobs so they position the mount at your correct latitude. So here in the San Francisco, San Jose area, we're at 37 degrees north latitude. It's a push-push system, so it's butting up against both sides of a block inside. So when both of them tighten up, they're not going to move. So loosen one up, tighten the other, and then just adjust the latitude scale until you get the right number. So I'm going to loosen this one and tighten this one, and you can probably see it moving downwards. So I'm going to move it to about 37, 38 degrees, right about there, and then lock both of them down so it doesn't move up or down. Next is the installation of the accessory tray below the tripod, well, in between the tripod legs. Uh, first, again, make sure that your tripod legs are nice and spread open all the way to their stops. Then loosen the knob here, take it off. The tray goes up through the shaft and then presses against each leg. Install the washer back on and then the large lock knob. Hand tight is all you need. You don't need to really clamp down on this one. Next is the counterweight shaft. Uh, first, make sure that this little locking collar is threaded all the way down towards the center of the uh, counterweight shaft itself, not up higher. So all the way down to the bottom, and then thread it in until it's snug. And then that locking washer, thread it back upwards towards the mount, and that locks it into place. Uh, this is called a toe saver for a very specific reason. Uh, once you've got the counterweights reinstalled, make sure you put the toe saver back on, because if somebody in the dark says, hey, what's this knob, and loosens the counterweight uh, lock knob, your counterweight's going to fall down and you'll be very unhappy. Uh, so once that's off, the counterweights go on. There is an up and a down. If you look on each counterweight, there's a narrow hole on one side and it's a little bit wider on the other. The wider side goes down facing the toe saver. Now just slide the counterweights on and I like to put the large one on first because the lock knob is up high on it. And uh, well, first of all, if there's nothing on top of your mount, slide the counterweight all the way up towards the top. And then when you put the other one on, 
the two knobs won't interfere with each other if you put the large counterweight on above the smaller one. Lock them both down. Don't forget the toe saver that goes back on. And you're ready to proceed. The next step are the slow motion knobs. One will go on the right ascension shaft here, and then the other goes on the declination shaft up above. You have your choice as to which side of each axis you want to put them on. Uh, if you're just setting up for the first time and you're not sure, it doesn't really matter. Just put them on one side and you can adjust that later. Uh, they are fairly tight. They're a snug fit. So when you put them on, you need to press in. And you'll notice there's a flat on the shaft itself. And then if you look at the shape of the slow motion knob, there's a little nub coming out on the bottom side. It doesn't make it exactly round. That little nub section, that's where the flat goes uh, when you uh, press on the slow motion knobs. So press the declination knob on, and right ascension one is on, and now you're ready to proceed to the next step. Two last things to attach to the mount before you're ready to put the telescope on or proceed to the uh, motor installation. The little cap that covers the polar housing here, uh, it's not really necessary, but it just kind of finishes the look and makes it uh, look like it's a bit more clean installation. Uh, your polar scope, an optional polar scope can go below that if you wanted. And then the uh, dovetail mount, depending on how you're going to be attaching a telescope, uh, the scope or the mount comes with an 8-inch. And that just slides in here and bolts down with a lock screw. It's as simple as that. All right, well, there you have it. That's the full assembly of the Skyview Pro mount. Um, as you can see, it was pretty easy. You didn't really need any tools at all, just uh, some large uh, hand knobs to tighten down. You're ready to proceed to the next step of attaching your telescope, balancing the mount, and uh, uh, viewing the night sky. Thank you very much. Clear skies.